So basically in this video guys we're going to be dealing with or we're going to be talking with um, Java variables and how we can uh, use it inside our Java uh, programs. So we're going to look at how to print variables, how to declare multiple variables um, inside our Java program. Uh, we're going to look at um, identifiers also and of course uh, the different types of variables. Okay. So basically, a variable is just for um, storing uh, our data values inside our Java program. So it like it works like a container. So if you have a container and then you're you're gonna put um, water into it. So in that sense, uh, in programming, you have a variable and then you're gonna add a value to it. So for example, we have um, a variable age, and then we're gonna assign a value into it. Okay. And of course, most of the cases, we're going to define also what is the type of uh, the value that we're going to save for that particular variable. So um, um, in Java, like there are different types of variables. Uh, for example, string, um, int, float. Um, you have the char or car. And then we have boolean. Um, and yeah, so we're going to talk about that here. And I'm just going to use a um, an online Java compiler for us to work with our variables. So as I've said, there are different types of variables in Java. So we have string. So I'm just going to add a comment right here. So string and then we have int and then float. We also have um, char and then also uh, boolean. Okay. So string, uh, we use this to store um, text. So string is for storing text, such as, for example, um, programming knowledge. There you go. And basically, it um, string values are surrounded by double quotes. So if, if for example, you want to um, define a name, or a variable uh, which is called name, then you have to surround the values with double quotes right here. And then say so for example, John Doe. So that's how you can um, define a particular variable inside our Java, pro uh, Java program. So we have here the, the type, which is string. And then the name of our variable, which in this case, we're using the name uh, as the name of our variable. And then we're initializing it or we're assigning it to the string value, which is John Doe. And as, I, as I've said, you have to surround your, uh, like the value by using double quotes right here. Now, if you want to print this out, of course you can by using the system that out the print line. Um, uh, system that out the print line and then uh, system out that print line. So we're just going to remove this. And then we have to supply the string that we want to display into our console. So if, we're, if we try to run this, of course, we will get our value or the string value of our variable which is currently we're setting this into john doe so of course you can define multiple um, um variables within our program so for example string address we're just gonna set this like for example new york city new york city okay and then we can go ahead and display this using system that add a print line okay and then say for example the address okay and then let's try to run our um, program so basically we can get now or we have the John Doe and New York City as our output into our console so that's how easy for us to uh, define our variable and then we are currently we're using um, the string 
type and the name of our variable. Now, there are other also um, variable types or like the type of values that we want to save inside, inside our program or all throughout the life cycle of our program. So for example, we want to store, instead of um, string, we're going to store number or um, a whole number. So for example, uh, an age of a person. So um, you have to define that by using the int keyword, which is the type of our, the value that, we'll, that we want to save. And then the name of our variable, which is age. And then equals to the age of a particular person, for example. So let's just define that for um, 20 for now. So as I've said, the int type, the int type enables, uh, enables us to store integers with whole numbers. Meaning you can't put here 20.5. You can't put here 20.1 because int... Uh, only accepts as a whole number so without decimals so such as one two three um negative one two three or negative 50 50 for as long as it is a whole number and of course the same thing we can uh, try to display this by using system that out or print line so for example age so and then run our um, program Okay, 20, there you go. So you can add here, um, for example, your age is, and then you have to, con uh, like for example, you want to con concatenate it with uh, the variable age. Okay, your age is, 20 obviously it should be the output okay so chando new york city and then your age is 20 and again as i've said you can uh, define multiple um, variables within our program so for example age 2 and then 21 uh, for example um, by the way guys in naming variables there are um, like conventions uh, being used so we have the camel case notation when we say camel case notation camel case notation in variables this is common uh, notation no, not not notification notation um, camel case notation it is most commonly used for java um, when you are defining java uh, variables so the concept here is that um, you have to make use of uh, so for example there are two if you are just defining a variable or um, a name of a variable that, that, which is a one word so for example the age you use all small uh, small caps here but for example you have like two words say for example uh, age two and then age one you have to um, follow this uh, particular camel case notation if you want to have a readable code or readable java code so um, the first word of the variable is uh, small or in in small caps and then the first letter of the second word of the name of the variable is capitalized and then the remaining uh, will be um, in small caps also so that's how um, most of the programmers uh, typically define their variable name. So, of course, in naming variables, there are also valid or invalid um, variables, uh, variable names, right? So, you can't um, add here um, a number before the variable name. So, for example, age or one age. So, you can't, you can't um, do this. This is not a valid do this can't do this variable name this is not a valid variable name so all you have to do is um, in naming variables you have to make sure that it starts with um, the letters or the best naming convention to use or to choose a variable name that will tell the reader of the program what the variable represents so, for example, the variable rep, uh, the variable represents 
the age of a per particular person, of course, you have to name that variable as age. If you are trying to um, like define a variable that is referring to the name of the person, then you have to define it as name or the first name or last name or address. So like for example, um, you have to name your variable in correlation with the values that being saved or to be saved in that particular variable. So there, are, again, there are rules for naming variables. So all variable names must begin with a letter of the alphabet, an underscore it could be, or a dollar sign. But the convention is to always use a letter of the alphabet. Uh, the dollar sign and, and, and the underscore are being discouraged. So after the first initial letter, variable names may contain uh, letters and uh, maybe you can maybe you can try to use uh, digits because that's allowable uh, for example 0 to 9 uh, as we have uh, defined earlier so int you can try to uh, make it like this age and then uh, followed by a digit which is 1 in variables no spaces or special uh, special characters allowed so for example uh, maybe you are tempted to um, put a space in between here of our age and uh, digit one which this is not allowed in naming variables in java so the name can be of um, any length right so you can name your variables as long as uh, you want but uh, remember that you that you will have to type this name all over your program. So, for example, you have very long um, variable name, okay, just like this one. Um, you can do this, but this is not uh, recommended because again, you have to type this. Uh, uh, for example, all throughout the life cycle of your program, if you're going to use this within your uh, program, so it's not ideal because you have to type this. So uh, the uppercase characters are distinct from lowercase. Uh, using uppercase letters are primarily used to identify constant variables. So again, we're discussing here um, good naming conventions for our variables. So you can use, uh, for example, uh, age which with uh, capital all capitals which entails constant meaning uh, if you have a variable there that is not changing anytime inside your program so you can try to uh, uh, make use of all uh, copper case letters and you cannot ju uh, in java you cannot use java keyword for a variable name so for example you cannot um, Make use of, say, for example, string, and then you're going to use a Java res reserve keyword, which is um, main. So you can't do that because that's um, Java reserve keyword. Okay. And um, I think that's all there is to it, guys, in this particular video. And we're going to be continuing this in the next video. We're going to discuss deeper um, the other. Um, data types in java particularly so thank you again for watching and see you in the next video